we run boot camps on aerodynamics and on programming and vehicle design and also on welding so we help uh, the teachers and the students understand the design and build of the electric vehicle. The program in schools is a program where teams of students design and build their own electric vehicles. Um, in September and October we hold regional um, finals events for schools in different regions. So this year we had Auckland, Waikato, Wellington, Nelson and Canterbury regions. Um, so the, um, the top teams from the regions get to come along to this event today um, and put their vehicles to the test uh, in a whole variety of different types of um, events against uh, the schools from elsewhere. Today had our final event for the year after a year of building and build camps to uh, have, have 33 teams and their vehicles from throughout the country competing in our categories today. It's all about really getting the young people um, a familiar with electric vehicle technology because not only do I perceive that to be the future but they perceive that to be the future too. This program allows them to uh, build, get the thrill of creation of something physical with uh, engineering and working with mentors to create it so they get the benefit of experience. It's been encouraging to see the number of girls uh, come into the program and uh, be taken with engineering uh, and in many instances it's not something that they naturally saw as a career for themselves. So it's, it is opening doors and it's lovely to see that. This year I've signed up to the mechanics class and next year I'll be doing the e-velocity competition again and the year 15 project for the motor, motorbike and go-kart. I did all the welding so I learned TIG welding and with that I was able to get an apprenticeship um, at an engineering firm down the road from our school. I learned stuff that you can't really learn in a class really, it's just by doing physical projects like these, you learn a lot of skills and you learn, you know, the, uh, the process of failing, having to do it again, failing, having to do it again, until you generally refine your product, until you finally get that, you know. The... It definitely has helped grow um, interest in engineering and technology for the future, so. Oh, and also places like Polytechs, like ARA, and their support with the program is really good. We've seen some amazing uh, vehicles, uh, two wheels, three wheels, four wheels, and some excellent technology innovation on a number of them. Um, we were particularly interested, being from the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering, in things such as uh, sensors and uh, information transfer. Uh, we, we asked if they could look at uh, collision mitigation systems, and we saw a number of examples of those uh, that seem to be working quite well. Uh, they've got systems for feeding back information to the drivers, so it was all very impressive. And these are coming from, from high school students, and so we would hope as a university that they will want to go on and do uh, tertiary education. It's, it's the learning curve, you know, that uh, they can experience building something, they can experience learning doing it by themselves, and they can realize building a car is it's quite easy for them. It just takes time, a little bit of effort, you have to run a project, and you can do it. EVs in New Zealand are a fantastic idea. We generate most of our electricity in a renewable and sustainable manner. So we are one of the few countries uh, around that are just so ideally suited to most of our energy being satisfied through electricity. Um, E-Velocity, the students that are involved in E-Velocity are the type of people that we want to have um, coming on our course because they like to fiddle around with things and think, use their, their brains in a practical way. And so they're the type of people that we want to start with and then and because we can provide them with good practical jobs. Fabulous, it's a fabulous way to see see whether they're actually interested in engineering and what um, and, and, and the future and emerging technology. There's just, just so much going on in that space at the moment and we need more and more young people involved in it. We train students to be work ready and to be able to manage things, manage projects from start to finish so when they do the high school program that's exactly what they're doing, they're applying project management tools to scarce resources and coming up with an innovative solution that meets tomorrow's economy. It's a terrific program and a different a, a terrific chance for young people to try their hand at something a little bit different.